Hey there, YouTube peoples. As I want to do, I've uh, been thinking about what I am trying to do here on YouTube long term. Um, so I've had some thoughts. Um, one thing I'm thinking of doing is getting on this patron thing. Like, basically how patron works is they um, they give you... You know, the, you have a content creator and you say, oh, for every, you know, article or every month or, you know, whatever, I'm going to give this creator this amount of money. And I'm not entirely sure how it's all handled, but that seems to be the gist of it. And uh, a big part of it focuses around rewards. That's basically my main reason for not, you know, setting one up yet. Because um, I, I don't really have that many things I could give as rewards since I don't really want to like paywall content or anything not that I have a good way of doing that um, so I I'm not sure if I can really give any incentives to anybody to donate so well, not donate but you know contribute so it would basically be it's basically like a tip jar kind of kind of is in like exactly basically but it would be a tip jar that I mostly support. Like, I get money from ads, not very much, and kind of frustratingly stagnant. And actually, ad money's gone down quite a bit since 2004. Or not 2004. Um, I've been making videos that long. Since 2012. Um, this guy does not want to give me that item. Um... So yeah, I, I've been thinking about that. I just don't know how many people are going to want to, like, actually give money. So, um, if you have opinions, like, if you would, um, if you would donate, like, contribute, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, did that guy disappear? Um, I definitely want to know that, because, like, I don't know, I just, it's a weird thing in our culture that asking for money is just looked upon as so greedy, but it's like, I spend all of these hours doing this shit, and I really shouldn't feel so weird about trying to get a small amount of money out of it. Uh, I do, though, but... Oh, well. So, uh, like, ideally, I would like to get some money, and then ideally, you know, the more money I get, the more ability I have to make videos, basically. Like, ideally, I would love to do this for a living. I, I would have no problem with that. Part, a big part of the reason I make as few videos as I do is because, you know, I have a job. A real job, as some might say. And uh, that greatly limits my time and is not particularly conducive to me making lots of videos. So, uh... It's a bad panel for me to be on. So... Yeah, I, I'm not like one of those guys that are like, Oh, hey, I don't want to make money off of my videos. Like, I, I totally do. I spend tons of hours doing stuff, so yeah. Um, but I just don't know if people would be into that or if I'm just going to look like a jackass. I don't like looking like a jackass. But uh, if that would be something you'd be interested in, let me know. And if you have ideas for like what I could do for like benefits, like... I, I don't know. I really like. There's goals you can do. So like, if you get X dollars, you could be like, oh, I'm gonna remove ads from my content, or I'll do a special episode or something. And I can do that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I would do. Like, one thing I could redu remove ads for sure at some point. I'd have to get a fair amount of money. Um, truth be told, I make about like 70 bucks a month now, which is down substantially from previously. Um, so if I were to make significantly more than that, I would be willing, quite willing to remove ads. Um, it would have to be, like, I just don't know if that's gonna happen, though, but, um, it's a possibility if I get enough money from Patreon, I could do that. And I always try to not have annoying ads, like, I have, like, the minimum setup of ads possible, which is... Probably not what I should do if I want money, but whatever. Um, stupid reverse damage tiles. Um, so that's the patron thing. I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I'll do it yet. But I would like input. That's what that's what, what this video is about. So if you have ideas on the patron thing, like anything at all, 
anything constructive, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments on this video. Um, and also, I, I talk about stuff like this on Twitter quite a lot. Um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter and you use Twitter, I would appreciate a follow. Like, I ask questions a lot on Twitter of fans, but I don't actually have that many followers on there. I've got about 200 people on Twitter and, like, um, there's maybe 10 to 20 that regularly respond. Um, I love when I finish a match by, with a counter. Um, so... Yeah, following on Twitter would be great. Um, so in addition to Patreon, I'm also thinking of Twitch stuff and review stuff. Um, with Twitch streams, I kind of, I want to like doing the Twitch streaming, but, oh dear. Um, but it's a lot of effort for very few people, like, generally concurrent views are like 10. Um, like max concurrent views on a video, and I'll be there for like two hours, so... I'm currently thinking of doing it, but like just streaming crap that I, was, I would be playing anyway, like not making a big event out of it. So like I would still have dedicated times, but you know, I'm not gonna like make sure I play a different game every week or you know, try to make a big show out of it. I'll still talk and everything and re-chat, but um, I would just, you know, do whatever. Like I would be playing this maybe. This is Disgaea D2 by the way. Very good game. Um, so that's a possibility um like would you be into that like it would just be you know tap taps thursday tuesday whatever the hell day i pick random probably console or pc game that i happen to be playing at the time i can't really record portable games well um so I don't know. I think that would make it a lot less stressful for me, and it would bug me less that I'm not getting many viewers. Like, um, I'm sure I will grow views over time and stuff, but, you know, since I already have all of these viewers on YouTube, it's like, why am I even bothering with Twitch for this paltry amount of viewers? That's right, Parker. That's right. Um, so, Twitch, Parker, get down. Yeah. He's, he's saying hi. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about Twitch. Like, I don't want to stop streaming on Twitch, and I think it's got some potential and stuff, but... Like, the Twitch video on demands that I put on YouTube get, like, almost no views. Like, they'll get about half or less what a normal video would. Um, which isn't that terrible, considering normal video... Well... It is kind of terrible since the normal videos use like 15 minutes instead of two hours. But, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just annoyed with Twitch at the moment. Um, so that's my thought on Twitch. If you want, if you want me to continue streaming on Twitch, like, comment and say, like, if you have any ideas on what I should do, shouldn't do, whatever, let me know, because I... I don't- I want to like Twitch more than I like Twitch. That's my frustration. I don't want to not stream, but... I don't know. Streaming just seems to be currently more work than it is worth. So, if I could reduce the amount of work it is, or, you know, get more views ideally, of course, that would be sweet, but... I don't know. Um, I ramble. So, if you want me to just stream, you know, whatever the hell I happen to be playing. I'm sure I can find, you know, I'm playing games quite often, so I could just stream, you know, whatever I happen to be playing, and I'll still talk about it and stuff, but it wouldn't be like, oh, I'm planning to play this game for this duration, and I will talk about these things while I'm playing the game. And I'll just be like, oh, hey guys, I'm playing Sky D2, this is why it's cool, I'm doing stuff, I'm going to the shop, I'm gonna buy everything with the new on there, because that feeds my completionism. I'm gonna buy the green things, because I can use those to bribe people. I enjoy bribing people. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in that. I, I'll probably try that out, like... I want to say next week, but I whenever I promise next week, it doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking on Twitch. Um, I'm also thinking about doing more reviews, but it's like, I tried... I sat down and did a Doki Doki Universe review. It was supposed to be quick, and it ended up being about 
was it 15 or 20 minutes? And I don't know, it felt pretty rambly. I I'm not, like, I don't know why I'm always rambly when I do these sorts of things. Like I am right now. I don't feel like I'm rambly in the Let's Plays, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just more constructively rambly. Um, so I'm thinking of doing video reviews, but like I don't know. What do you what do you look for in a video review? Do you do you want just to see some gameplay and just some broad conclusions about it? Do you want to see detailed stuff? Do you want to just see like? five minutes like what's your ideal length for one thing i was thinking for the doki doki universe thing i would just talk about what i want to talk about and try to get it under 15 minutes or not 15 five minutes um show some relevant gameplay clips and then just you know if i can't get it under five minutes not even bother uploading it um because basically my thing i I wouldn't spend over five minutes reading a text review. Why would I spend over five minutes watching a video review? But I don't like video reviews as much as some people do, so I would like some opinions on that. Like, um, would you... I don't know, what do you want in a video review? Like, I've done a couple. I did one for Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Um, I think I did one for Mighty Switch Force uh, HD. Um... So I guess you could go take a look at those. Those like, I want to get into reviewing a bit more, but I don't. It's just like a start. It's just the same thing as Twitch. It's starting over fresh, all anew, and it's like I don't know. It's frustrating because I already have something that works. I want to add to it, but you know, since I haven't been doing it, you know, a billion times over, I'm not as good at it, and I I don't know. Some stupid part of my brain is just having trouble accepting that. So, um, too long didn't read. Um, I am thinking about doing a patron thing where people, you know, voluntarily say, hey, I will pledge this amount of money for every month, I'm thinking, because per video doesn't make sense. Like, you'd want to give, like, less than a dollar a video. But, like, so I'm thinking a month. So, like, you give me X amount of dollars by month, entirely voluntarily, um, possibly perks, but I, I don't really know what sort of perks I would want to give. So like, it'd basically just be a digital tip jar. And some part of my brain just thinks people react negatively to that. Uh, I probably shouldn't care about those people, but I guess I do for some stupid reason. Um, so let me know what you think of that. Um, I'm also thinking of doing Twitch in a bit of a different way, so like, I would just be streaming whatever I happen to play, like I'm doing right now, but actually talking about the game, unlike right now. So, and I think that would just be less stressful and more enjoyable for me, because it'd be, you know, more ad hoc and just, you know, doing whatever, because I don't have quite enough views to really justify me doing all of this, you know, tedious crap of setting up and making sure I can play the game well and all that. So when I'm streaming live, I really do want to play the game well. Um, so, let me know what you think I should do for Twitch streams. Like, if you would watch me just, you know, at a set time, but not playing a set game, and not even necessarily knowing what I'm playing in advance, um, that's what I would be thinking of doing, so let me know if you'd be into that. Um, third thing, I'm considering doing more video reviews, but I don't... I'm not really sure what I want in video reviews, so I want to know what other people want in them. I'm thinking of doing something pretty short, um, with some game, you know, showing off some gameplay, of course, since that's the main draw of a video review, at least to me. You know, show some relevant gameplay and, you know, give a broad impression, um, what I like about it in particular as an, you know, as an example of the genre, and just... You know, pretty short. I was thinking maybe five minutes. Is that too short? Is that too long? I, I mean, I can't really get that much shorter. Um, I wouldn't be giving numbers. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't do review numbers. I don't like them. I don't plan to include them. Um, if you think it will be useless to have a review that short without a number, do let me know. Um, I don't particularly need to know if you're not going to um, contribute to Patreon, but if you really don't like the v idea of the video reviews or the Twitch thing, I do want to know that. So, definitely give your feedback where you can. Um, I guess that's about all I had to say.
or ask about rather. Oh, and um, do follow me on Twitter. I'm just at SirTapTap on Twitter. Um, sometimes I make jokes. Sometimes I talk about what videos I'm going to be doing. Um, sometimes I ask questions. So it would be pretty cool if you, if everybody, well, if most people, um, were to follow and, you know, get all the Twitter nits updates that I give. I promise I'm not terrible on Twitter. I'm not any more terrible than I am on YouTube anyway. Um, I also have Twitch, so you know, definitely follow me on Twitch if you haven't. That's like, the main thing on Twitch is to just, it's a lot of fuss to set up. Like, and I've been doing it for a bit and still fucks up a lot. And so it's pretty frustrating for something so fragile and so, you know, annoying to set up to also just break, like, or not break to, you know, not bring that many people. So, the more people I get on Twitch, the more I'll actually care about it. At the moment, not a high priority. Don't forget to comment with your ideas and whatever. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, you guys did, you know, I'll do a belated New Year's thing. I had a great uh, 2013 on YouTube still. I, I don't think I had as great a time as... 2012 honestly I have better equipment and everything but some other stuff largely out of my control has been a bit annoying but uh, I'm hoping to put some of that behind me and uh, ideally I want to get um, something like the patron thing or just some sort of monetization thing so that oh fuck I completely forgot I was also thinking of setting up a website um, I bought um, I bought uh, SirTapTap.com, at least I'm pretty sure that's the domain I got. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm thinking of just throwing up WordPress on there and basically just having um, like playlists of my videos. Like, I'm, at least I hope there's a plugin that lets me do that easily. And you know, um, I could have blog posts. Like, one thing I was thinking of doing is having. Um, like a series of blog posts on UI and UX design in um, RPGs, not like how to build an RPG, but like annoyances, like unskippable cutscenes. And you know, I'd be talking about how you should handle that. And uh, you know, as a player, this is dumb and I hate it. Um, this is a game that does it poorly. This is a game that does it well. And I would be trying to go fairly in depth. I'm not sure I would make those videos because that would just be me reading text, and I don't have any. Thing flashy to really show you for that um, so I think it would be really good to have that as a uh, I think that would be ideal to have as a blog I hate that word by the way but that's the way it is um, so would you go would you see my website what would you want on a sirtaptap.com because I can set that up pretty cheap so money is not a big issue there for me so let me know what you think about Patron, which is basically, you know, tip jar every month you give me X amount of monies. Um, let me know what you think about Twitch, if I just stream random crap, basically, that I happen to be playing. And I'll still talk and read chat, but if I just stream more random stuff and not fuss about it as much, would that be alright? Because currently the level of fuss is a bit too much for me. Um, uh, I have Twitter, so please do follow me on it, SirTapTap, at SirTapTap. Um, I tweet jokes, I talk about games, it's mostly game related on there. Or, you know, other stuff that I'm into. I also like um, general tech stuff and design, so there'll be some of that. Um, better save. Um, in addition to that, there's... Video reviews, tell me what you think about video reviews, and tell me what you think about SirTapDap.com, what the hell should I put on there. And if you would be interested in that RPG blog thing, let me know. Like, I do want to do it, but it's like, are RPG makers going to actually view on there? Like, I guess if, um, if nothing else, if people that use RPG Maker for um, casual stuff, like, if even those people read it and appreciated it, I guess that would be pretty cool. Um, but I realized part of the issue with the way I plan to do it is many of the offenders of my 
complaints are, oh god, um, JRPG developers, and I mean, for one thing, how are they going to find or care about what I say, and, uh, aside from that, how are they gonna understand it? You know, it'd be in English, I don't speak Japanese, or write it, or anything like that. But, uh, I don't know. If, if enough people read it, that's cool enough for me. I do like to write and stuff, I just don't do it too much currently, so I think that would be really cool to do on a SirTapTap.com. Oh. Thank you for listening to 20 minutes of me awkwardly get around, get around the points I was trying to make. Um, leave whatever feedback you have for me, and thanks for watching everybody.